Hello, I'm Chris Fulkerson, Technical Services Engineer with Natoli Engineering. Today we're going to review the features and operations of an NPRD-10A laboratory tablet press. There are several major components on the NPRD-10A. The micro adjustment knob, the gib lock, the depth of fill gauge, the die lock knob, the compression force meter, and the ejection lever. Next we have the hydraulic pump, the automatic relief valve, the hydraulic cylinder, and the manual relief valve. Next we're going to install shape tooling on the NPRD-10A. The first thing you do is pump the hydraulic pump a couple times to lower the ram. Next we install the upper punch into the upper punch holder. Then you install the upper holder into the machine. Do not screw it all the way down until it's tight. You need to leave it loose. After you install the upper punch, it's time to install the lower punch. You insert the lower tool into the lower tool holder. Pull back on the ejection lever to raise the lower punch guide and you'll notice two locating pins that the lower tool holder goes into. So you carefully insert the lower holder as to not damage the tips by hitting them together. Rotate the lower holder to the locating pins finger tight, lock it down, and lower it back down. Next, we insert the die into the die holder. Once in, take the torque wrench, torque it down to 14 foot-pounds. After the die is installed in the die holder, place the die holder over the die platen hole, raise your ejection lever, and locate the lower punch, paying careful attention not to damage it. Once the die holder is installed in the die platen, it's time to lock the die lock knobs down hold the die holder in place. Next we align the upper punch. We leave the upper punch loose to allow play for when we're placing the tool into the die. Pump it down. So as you start getting close to the, the die, the punch is lowering. Pull up on the tool, that way you can watch where it goes in. Once it's in and you've got your alignment, tighten up the upper tool holder, release your pressure just ever so slightly, repump it, re-lower the tool into the die, paying close attention to make sure you have no visual contact. Your upper tool is now set. Once you have the tooling installed, it's time to make a tablet. There are two settings that need to be made. One, you need to set your depth of fill using your micro adjustment knob. So you set it to your desired depth of fill. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna set mine to 3 8 of an inch. Once you have it set where you need it at, you lock the gib lock down. The next setting that needs to be made is your compression force setting. This is the setting that your automatic relief valve will kick out at. Just depress the parameter button, it says set point one will flash, and it will show you the current setting. You can adjust the setting two ways. You use the up down arrow keys for micro adjustments, depress the reset button, and use the up and down arrow key and that will move your last digit out. We will set this at approximately 32 kilonewtons for now. 
Once the value is where you want it at, hit the parameter button to store it. Display level will show up. Hit the display button and you are good. Now that we've got the tooling installed, it's time to make a tablet. First step is to place an amount of product on the die table, enough to make several tablets. Take a scraper, scrape the product into the die, holding your scraper at a 90 degree angle to get a good fill. Once you have a good fill, it's time to pump the hydraulic pump. Now with the RD-10A, the press will kick out at the desired setting you put it in the compression force. And a buzzer will sound when it reaches there and pressure is relieved. Now it's time to eject the tablet. To check your ejection force, you loosen up the gib lock screw, back off on your depth of fill, press the F1 key to reset the force on the compression force meter, and then we pull back on the ejection lever. Now your compression force meter is displaying your ejection force, and you've made a tablet. This concludes our demonstration of the NP RD-10A laboratory tablet press.